What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Tyler Rose, and I'm back again with another banger, man. You know what time it is, man. Turn me up. Let's go. Never gonna strike me, even if it did. They ain't never quite like me. That ain't like me. That ain't really like me. So welcome back to Tyler Rose TV. If you don't know, my name is Tyler Rose and this is everything. Kicks, sneaker culture, just videos that are fun in general. So if you're new here, please hit the subscribe and leave me a like. The like helps the algorithm. Let's aim for 100 likes this video. Welcome back if you're subscribed already. Now let's get into today's video. So for today's video, bro, like, woo! Listen, this shoe right here. We go way back, man. Way, way, way back. Now, this shoe came out originally when I was 12 years old, and I couldn't get it. Now, I'm talking about the Air Jordan 3 Cool Grays. Not the Cool Gray 11s. These are the 3s. These are classics in my in my era. These are classics. These are must-have shoes. As far as back in the day, man, these were must-haves back in the day. If you had the Cool Gray 3s, bro, you had some heat. We would call them heat, man. These are heat right here. Very excited to get into this topic. Before we get started, we still got the raffle going on. Once we reach... 2,000 subscribers, we're gonna give away a free pair of Air Jordan 1s. I know y'all want some free shoes. Y'all need to hit the subscribe once we get to 2K. We're gonna do it, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, like this video right here, hit the bell to get notified when I drop a video. After that, head over to IG, follow me here, follow my other IG right here. Once you're done, Follow on both of those accounts, come back to this video here, comment down, you enter right for the winner, free pair Air Jordan 1s. Now nonetheless, let's get back on topic. Now the Air Jordan Cool Gray 3s are set to release February 20th for a retail price of $190. Now listen guys, we gonna get into the T-Rose detail. Now this shoe right here is personally one of my favorites, so without further ado, let's dive into the detail. Let's get some closer look at the images of the shoe. Now let's look at the Cool Gray 3s, boy. All my sneaker memories right now are just jumping with joy as to just seeing one of my childhood favorite shoes re-released, man. 2006, man, this has been a long time coming. I was 11 years old then. Now, um, like I said, um, 06, 07 when these came out. Now we can just look at that elephant print, which is that dark gray and light gray. Make sure a nice elephant print. We got the midsole. Towards the back of the midsole, we have the grayish color. Then we have the white midsole as well with the bubbles. Now, let's look at the shoe. The little hints, the accents of yellow inside of the where you lace up the shoes is really fire. The jump man on the tongue, all red, very fire. And then the air on the back is yellow and the jump man on the back the shoe is towards the heel is red now just look at that beautiful cool gray man that that, that gray that cool gray is just an iconic colorway the actual color is uh for this shoe like all the colors we have here is a uh, so what nike is calling it is silver light graphite orange pale and sport red however these two colors correspond really really well together and this shoe is just really well put together as far as colors you know like it's just a classic color that you don't really want to mess with you know the certain colorways and the Jordans are just dope and you don't really need to mess with it too much as you can see it comes with white laces I never realized how fire the white laces look with the shoe it gives off that perfect look um, like I said if it was like gray laces or black it would just be doing too much but the white just gives that nice texture. It looks like the opposite of the shoe. The shoe is completely gray. Like I said, that midsole is only white and then the laces are white. Like just, oh my God, bro. I love this shoe. Like this shoe is making me so excited, man. I'm very excited to go ahead and try to cop these. Let me know down in the comments, guys. What do you think of this shoe? Is this a cop? Is this a drop? Um, leave me a comment, man. And guys, like I don't know what it is lately, but I just been on my childhood dream shoe lately. I was watching the uh, little Yachty video. He was showing off his shoe collection. I know this is off topic, but I try to post a reaction video to little Yachty's shoe collection and complex blocked my video, so I could not post it. Sad, right? I really like wanted to post you guys some different type of content and I wanted to do the reaction video to it. But nonetheless, he had these laser fours, right? Look like this. Like y'all don't understand how bad a young boy wanted them shoes, man. Like I wanted those so bad. But nonetheless, let's get back on topic. This ain't about the laser fours. It's about the cool grade threes. And we're about to get into how to cop and where to cop. So right now what I'm seeing guys is the sneakers app. Now I do think these might release on more places eventually, but right now it is the 11th of February, which means nine more days until the shoe releases. Hopefully we see more shoe uh, places update as far as where they're gonna be. Now, 
I did check the sneakers and stuff app. I didn't see those, but I did see the Carmine Sixes on those. So if you're watching this and you do want the Carmines, check out the sneakers and stuff app. You can enter the raffle to win on those. I'm thinking that these shoes will be available on that app, the sneakers and stuff app, because I don't see why not. Now this could be a limited release. This could be smaller, smaller amounts, uh, you know, release for this shoe, but I, I doubt it. Um, so maybe closer to the date, check in with me on IG. Uh, I should be posting them. I'm very interested in getting these, even more than the Carmine Sixes. I definitely want to say I love this shoe right here. I really do. I actually had the Cool Gray Fours back in the day. Maybe when I say back in the day, I mean like from 2000, maybe 10 to 2012. That's like my years when I was going really, really hard with shoes when I was younger before I got older. Those were my years where I really went hard at shoes. So that was a shoe that I had. It was a Cool Gray Fours and they haven't been released, I think, believe they were last time the release was like 03 and I got them in like 2011. So it was kind of an older shoe and I love those shoes and I wanted the Cool Gray Fours and the Cool Gray Threes, but now I got a chance to get them. So I got to get these guys. Now let's just talk about resale value right now. If you, you know, check your stock X, you check your goats. Let's check. We're going to check together, man. We're going to check together. So first we're going to check stock X and we're just going to see the prices right now, see what's going on. So let's see. Cool gray nope not the fours cool gray threes boom got them here so right now they're already available um i'm seeing my size 13 291 um i'm seeing all the other sizes but these basically are ranging from about 260 to about some people are overpricing them at like 700 dollars now you know, I mean, that's like all the bigger sizes, but you know, that's not really the price. You could probably grab these for like 262 to like 290. So about a hundred or, or about seventy dollars to a hundred over retail is what they're going for. So like I said, as far as reselling for these shoes, um, not really probably gonna be a high reseller uh, shoe that you sought after shoe to grab to resell because. Like I said, guys, the threes now is, is not as popular as they was. They're not as hyped up as they once were. But I guarantee you this. If this was 10 years ago, let's we'll say 2011, and these are came out, these shoes would be an expensive shoe to grab. And I always say, I speak from history because I've been doing this for a while. It's so cool and so weird at the same time to see certain shoes be worth valued so high and just to go down. Just like Foams was up here back 10 years ago, maybe. Now they're down here. And what I always preach to you guys is don't go for the hype. Get what you like. Now grab the shoes you enjoy. Grab the shoes that make you happy because at the end of the day, you're going to be wearing the shoes. Not the people online. Not the, all the hype that you see. They don't wear the shoes. You do. So always get something that you enjoy and that you it's close to heart that you love. Now guys, you see this sweater is from Drip on a Budget. Make sure you check out my brand new video, Drip on a Budget, where I go to Walmart and I have a budget. I got to put together outfits from Walmart using only $40. And then um, I did a video, came out pretty good. So make sure you go ahead and check it out. It's like this. Um, check out the video. I want to say thank you guys for all the support. We're almost at 1,500 subscribers. We're trying to reach that 2,000. We're going to do the giveaway soon. So hit that subscribe if you're new here. And give me a like. It helps the algorithm, guys. Make sure y'all wash your hands. Y'all stay safe out there. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.